Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is Proverbs 306. Proverb today is, great oaks grow from small acorns. Okay, somebody wants a screenshot? Do it right now, let's get right to it. If someone says that great or tall oaks grow from small acorns, now remember acorns, those, that's a little thing that fall from this, the uh, oak trees. That's basically, I always thought of it as squirrel food. Anytime you see a squirrel and they pick up one little nut thing that they're holding there, that's usually an acorn. So that's what they're talking about. Those little acorns, from a little acorn, you could get the really big, tall oak tree. Okay, let's continue. It means that all significant or powerful things were once small and insignificant, when they first started out. So everything starts out small. Even people, somebody that's maybe a small child today or a young person that could be kind of helpless, maybe that person could grow into a very important, significant, great person one day. You never know. Let's continue. The earliest citation dates back to 1833. It came from the Philadelphia newspaper, The Examiner. Here is the quote, great oaks from little acorns grow. Then it continues, and I hope and trust that your small beginning, this ancient and honorable commonwealth, will again renew her standing. Well, her standing, I guess, in society or in the country or whatever. Let's continue. All right, we got three examples to show just how we would use this. Here's the first one. It's hard to believe that Google started from a garage in which Larry Page and Sergey Brin worked in Menlo Park, California. And then, you know, B here says, well, I guess it's true. Great oaks grow from small acorns. All right, this is one way. Or number two here, you never know, today someone could start with a small website and eventually grow into a multi-million dollar business. Okay. And again, B says, well, great oaks grow from small acorns. Okay, and number three here, the 7-Eleven chain started out as just a single ice house storefront in Texas in 1927. It eventually grew into a worldwide convenience store chain, and actually, you could say it spawned all the other convenience stores, because this was really the first convenience store. And so not only did it its own, but it spawned other ones just like it. All right, let's continue. Uh, and B says, well, it just goes to prove great oaks grow from small acorns. So everything, everything at one time is small and insignificant. Everything that eventually turns out to be uh, great and significant and important. Anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it's clear. I hope it's informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.